Hi, this is Bill Cobb Appraiser from Accurate Valuations Group. Wanted to go through some information that uh, was published this week by CoreLogic, uh, indicating that we're in our seventh straight month nationally uh, with lower home prices. Uh, they were lower by 6.7% from uh, this year, uh, one month ago. And they said that the distressed sales are beginning to stabilize uh, at, at some point. On the screen here, we're looking at the Market Watch, uh, the Wall Street Journal Market Watch uh, news that came out on Thursday about this particular story right here. And it says home prices fall for the seventh month in February. Uh, national home price index dropped 6.7% in February versus the same month a year earlier. Uh, the decline was bigger than the January index reading, which was 5.5% lower than a year ago. I'd like to discuss this in relation to Baton Rouge uh, housing, Baton Rouge home prices, and uh, am not at all trying to bring any negativity um, to to the Baton Rouge consumer, Baton Rouge, you know, there's this notion that we don't talk about negative. Everything we put on Facebook, everything we post on Twitter, everything we post anywhere is always positive. And uh, I think that we're maybe doing a disservice sometimes uh, with that particular uh, approach because we're, we're, not, we're not dealing with reality. Um, reality in the Baton Rouge market is that home prices have been correcting uh, for the past couple of years now. Uh, Katrina was a huge run up in in, in prices. Uh, we were there for a good while. I mean, Katrina went up 18 to 40 percent, depending upon where you, where you lived, uh, you know, for some time. Uh, but but then it started, you know, kind of leveling off and leveling off and and coming back down a little bit to reality. Uh, it would be naive to think that the market was not going to correct after, after Katrina, uh, and it is correcting. But let me show you a chart, and, and, and I'm just trying to discuss being a trust agent with, 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 the, with the viewer, and that I'm going to tell you what the market's doing, not what, not, maybe, maybe, maybe not what you want to hear. Um, this right here is the actual CoreLogic chart that is discussed in the, in the article in the news from Thursday. Uh, Baton Rouge Business Report has been, you know, telling us for the past six months now. The same CoreLogic news, uh, latest being, you know, for the sixth straight month, the values were down. Uh, that's not specifically talking about Baton Rouge, but in the CoreLogic report, uh, the business report has said that the Baton Rouge was included in that report. Um, this is a particular chart right here that they're showing, and this particular line I drew myself because this was support right here in at the beginning of January, and as you can see in February, it fell through support. And if you know a little bit about stock trading, you know stock market trends, charts, things like that, you know that you know whenever it falls through the support like that, it's going to go and find the next the next support level, which may be further down. National economists are saying that they, that it will be further down from here throughout the year. Uh, whether that's true for Baton Rouge real estate, I don't know. Uh, there was a Baton Rouge real estate, I'm sorry, Baton Rouge business report article in December of 2010, which said that at the end of 2011, Baton Rouge home prices would be higher. That may be the case. Uh, but right now, I want to show you what's going on at, in the first quarter of 2011. Um, again, not trying to be negative, just trying to, you know, this is what's really going on. This is reality out there. So if we go to and we look at East Baton Rouge Parish, this is a study I just completed. Right here is 2010, 2011, first quarter uh, comparisons. Right here in the first quarter, 13 of the 20 uh, zip codes within East Baton Rouge Parish had declining uh, average sales prices. As far as the average sales price per square foot, 15 of the 20 uh, zip codes within East Baton Rouge Parish had declining values, declining sales prices compared to 2010, uh, which shows that, that, that we're not immune 
to this downturn uh, despite you know the, the positive chatter uh, for Livingston Parish we're looking at um, one of the average sales prices for walk for the Watson market was down eight percent the others show uh, Walker shows no change uh, Livingston shows 18 percent up and uh, Denham Springs 70726 shows about three percent up uh, however most of the your average sales price per square foot are down nine percent twelve percent three percent only Livingston is up okay I'm trying to do this quickly uh, West Baton Rouge uh, is showing declines in all zip codes and is showing mostly the clients at your average sa average sales price per square foot. Ascension Parish is showing uh, some declines and some increases. Some increases um, as much as 42 percent. That's based on one zip code, uh, you know, with very few sales. There was only nine sales in that particular zip code. But your average sales price per square foot is mostly down in four out of the five zip codes. Uh, I just got through making a video on this particular chart right here showing this was this was June, June of 2008. This is where a uh, submarket category, this was a 2,000 square foot house. We're looking at comps between, between 1850 and 2350 living area. This is where it was in June of 2008. This is the decline now through this month of April of 2011, 12%. In the last year, it's corrected 4%. And REOs, foreclosures, are not that big of a factor in our market in this particular comparison. The core of seven-month declines does pertain to our market. Uh, we're not immune to declines. We have been correcting, and, and I believe we will probably still continue to correct. Um, and that's that's basically the charts. That's what's going on in the first quarter of 2011. And I'm making this video to show uh, the, the comparison to the news this week. Um, Your friends, you know, that are not doing very well in California, Georgia, Florida. But we do have some changes. Uh, not trying to paint a, you know, a dismal picture at all. Uh, the correction we're going through.